when we set this thing up. All right, so we're in our collar sleeve. We open up, we open up, we go foot in, he pops up. You see how I pushed him backwards, right? Yeah. Boom, all right? This is what I want to do when I've got this guard, right? I want to constantly off balance my, my opponent and not let them get comfortable because the moment that I stop and sit here like this is when he's going to start establishing things and then and I'm going to be in trouble, okay? So these open guards are, are creating off balance in our partners. So we have to constantly off balance him over and over again. Alright. So, we're in our collar sleeve, we go to our open guard, I pull my knee in right into the bicep ride immediately, right? Hip out, I go in, he pops up, I push him backwards, okay? If he's got his hand in that perfect position where it is right now, I'm just gonna hip out and I'm gonna pummel and go ahead and put my leg in. As soon as my leg goes there, guys, that's where his arm is in the bad position where I want it to be at, okay? That's when I can pull him down, right? If I pummel my leg in, right, and I sit here like this, he's gonna try to pummel his hand back in and put his elbow back on the inside again, okay? So remember, the opportune time to make the pull is when I do the pummel, right? and I get it in that position. All right, here's where we wind up, look, bad arm position, okay? I cannot go for my omoplata with this arm in this position, but I can start attacking my triangle. I'm right in the position, right? So I'm gonna lock up my box, okay? Once I lock up my box, I no longer need this hand right here. So I'm gonna switch over and grab the other side hand and start cutting my angle immediately, okay? So reach over, grab the other side, and cut your angle. Right? I'm not attempting to lock up my triangle until I have my angle cut. Once I've got my angle cut, then the triangle is very, very easy. Okay? Don't fight those triangles head on. Head on triangles are too difficult. Right? Always look to cut that angle and make your triangle a lot easier on you. All right. So starting at our collar sleeve, we open up our guard. Our knee comes in through the bicep ride. I step up. I push him backwards. I look for my pummel. My foot pummels in. I pull him in down. He put his hand down, right? So I'm just going to lock up my box right here. I don't need this arm anymore. I'm going to switch over here. I'm going to grab this side, right? I'm not going to try to finish my triangle or lock anything up here, guys. I'm going to cut my angle using that sleeve, right? This right here, I can put him to sleep without ever locking it up. He's tapping. So I can... Just lock this up simply. I'm on my calf, I'm not behind my knee, and the pressure of both of my legs going the same direction. See how, so I turn that, and I turn them down very easily. I'm not putting a whole lot of muscle into that. When I get the right angle, it, it cuts it right off. Yeah. Okay, so concentrate on your triangles on the <laughs> angle, all right? So, starting off our clothes guard, we've got our collar sleeve. Now pay attention, the partner's role when you're drilling this is to not put your arm in the right spot, is to put them, you know, to kind of catch yourself on their midsection so they have to switch their triangle. All right, so I pop open, I go on my bicep ride, he pops up, I push him down, I start playing my game, he put his hand in the wrong position, I lock it up, right? As soon as I pull this hand out of the way, I don't want him stacking me with it, I'm gonna reach over, I'm gonna grab this hand. Once I've got this hand, cut my angle, now the triangle's nice and easy. Here we got it. All right, let's do it on three. One, two, three.